Hey guys, Josh here, and today I'm doing kind of a short-term review of the Moco Magnetic Folio case for the new 2020 iPad Pros. So before we get started, I just want to give a big shout out to Moco. They actually sent me this case in three different colors to review for you guys, so I will leave a link in the description just below that like button if you want to check these out for yourself. Of course, these cases are also available for the 12.9 inch model. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I have been using this case for a few days now on my 11 inch iPad Pro, and I have a lot of good things to say. The first thing I noticed is just how premium the case looks and feels. The outside is a synthetic leather, which has a really nice feel to it, and it also has a lot more grip than the iPad itself. The 2020 iPad Pros are insanely expensive, and you definitely wouldn't want it to slip out of your hands, so the added grip will help out a ton with that. The inside of the case also has a microfiber lining, so you won't have to worry about it scratching or marking up the iPad. It has a pretty standard trifold design, much like a lot of other smart folios, so you can fold the screen cover back to use it as a stand. You get the dual position, so you can stand it up whichever way you want to get better viewing angles, or just flip the screen back flat and use it normally. I use it a lot at my desktop, sort of as a second monitor, so being able to stand it up next to my MacBook Pro is a huge plus for me. Because it is completely magnetic, you won't have anything in the way of the ports or buttons, and it also won't get in the way of the Apple Pencil. It is super easy to put the case on and take it off, and if you're the type of person who doesn't really like putting cases on your iPad, you can really just use it as a stand when you need it. The iPad will automatically sleep and wake when you open and close the screen cover. This way you don't have to pause what you're doing or hit the power button. Just close the cover, the iPad goes to sleep, and when you open it back up, it will be right where you left off. The magnets also seem to be quite strong, so you don't have to worry about it slipping out of the case. About the only area where I think this case falls short is with drop protection. I mean, you might get a little bit of protection if it lands flat, but if it hits a corner, this case isn't going to save it. But that is the trade-off for a slim and minimal case like this. The case also makes it noticeably heavier given that it weighs about half that of the 11 inch iPad Pro itself. So it's about one and a half pounds with the case on. Overall, I think it is a great case for the price. The 11 inch model is $19.99 and the 12.9 inch model goes for $25.99 on Amazon here in Canada. If you are in the US, that is $13.99 for the 11 inch model and $23.99 for the 12.9 inch model at this time. And of course it comes in three colors, black, navy blue, and rose gold. Again, this will all be linked in the description down below, so if you want to pick one up for yourself, make sure to check that out. And that wraps it up. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to smash that like button as it helps out a lot. And if you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.